now we have college ruled paper. We need to keep going here though. So you can hold it down, but at some point I'm going to start to copy. What I like in my notebooks is I like the top, the first page, to have space for the title of the lesson or whatnot. I can put another line here on the bottom, but I need to leave space for my page number. And go here, hit enter. Well, that's not going to work because look, at the line is right on our guideline, so we're going to bring that back. All right, great. Let's make this a little more fun, right? We paid a dollar for that clip art. Let's put a little clip art in here. Insert pictures. Now, whatever we put in there is going to end up being grayscale. So let's see. This is, this is really the hard part. Let's put that one in. All right, I'm going to go like this. And there it is. I'm going to put it actually on this side because the left side is where it's going to be bound at. It's kind of neat. Let us turn it around a little bit. All right, that's kind of nice, actually. Don't worry that it came over. As long as the picture isn't outside of our box here, we're good. There's something else we can do. We can actually put a picture down here. Let's see what that looks like. Insert, picture, and I'm going to just pick one of these. The first thing you're going to notice is that it has a white background. That's because it's a JPEG. And this clip art did not offer PNG, which has a transparent background. Let's go up here to the left. It says remove background. The thing is, is that everything that's purple, it's going to remove that background. It says mark areas to remove. And I'm honestly, I don't know how that works. And it's not going to work. Because look, if I keep the changes, no. Undo. We can also try transparency. But what happens is everything starts to turn transparent. That's not so bad. You know what? That's not so bad. The picture is not dark. The picture is not dark like this one. But if we're putting it on the bottom, we do have a couple of choices now. We can actually cut out these lines, but I think the background here is so light that people can write right over it. Let's make it maybe even a little smaller. And that line tells me it's centered and it's not going through the bottom, so that's perfect. Well, now the question comes, do I keep this one up here or do I just leave this here? I'm going to take that out. I like this better. Let's make the back page. So we're going to go here. I'm going to take all this gobbledygook out. And actually, I wasn't thinking very well. We're going to right click because I want them to match up. And then right click paste. So this is the one that I'm going to start to edit. Bring it down. Whoops, 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 whoops. I want them to be, do you see how they're on top of each other now? Awesome. Okay, so I'm not really sure where one starts and one ends. Bring it down. Okay. What I need to do now is add the lines that I have. Now I realize someone's probably thinking, you're doing it the hard way. Why are you doing it the hard way? Because Catherine really doesn't know how to do it the easy way right now. But that's okay, because this works too, right? Bring it down, so now they will match. Now I'm going to click in here. Oh, here's the small one. I want to delete that guy. And now, let's see what it looks like. Oh, isn't that nice? Seriously, that's awesome. Okay. And the picture isn't that bad. They're, they're a little different, but that's okay. What if, okay, so I'm going to right click, duplicate. I'm going to bring this one down. Let's change the clip art. So then we don't, every page won't be exactly the same. They are going to repeat at some point.
look here. If I put my cursor here, it's about, I'm, I'm going to look over here to the left. And here, it's just five and those two dots. So what do we have here? Five and the two dots, yeah, they're about exactly right. They don't look exactly right because this one isn't five and the two dots. All right, good. We are going to duplicate this one, bring it down so it's below that guy. We are going to put in a new one. And I'm trying not to pick the ones I already have done. Okay, if I already did this one, it's okay. Life won't end. Transparency, yep, right to there. Just a tiny bit more. All right, all right, I think that's, that's good. We have a couple different pages. The other thing you could do is bring it down. Put the, put the picture back up here. We could have a couple with the bottoms and a couple with the top. Wow, what a cool idea. Let's put in this one. All right, let's just go like this. Zoop. Cool. Right click, duplicate, and then bring that one down if I can. All right, and what if, copy, sorry, right click, paste, let's bring this one down. I mean, seriously, there is just tons of ideas you could do. I need to go to format, transparency. Yeah. Wow. All right. I think we're good. I still don't have a name, though. Oh, I'll have to think about it some more. I'm going to close my master view, and I'm going to highlight and delete. Here's our first page. Let's put in some more pages. Here's my title page. Still going to leave it as title. And then we're just going to start adding what we have. All right. I'm going to make it a little smaller. And I'm going to keep pasting until I have 100, and then we'll come back. All right. I have the 100 pages in, and I decided that I'm going to add a couple more title pages. Copy paste, paste. So that means I'm going to go down here and I really only want a hundred. Let's see what it looks like. I'm going to go way right down here to the right and we're going to do a slideshow. And this is really what your book is going to look like. These lines might be a little dark. We can fix that. Yeah, let's fix the darkness. Now the thing is, is that if I hadn't saved this as part of my master slide, I would have to go to every single one of these, oh my gosh, and change it. But since we were smart, we put them in our master slide. All we have to do is this. And so it's really dark. Let's pull it down a little bit. Hmm. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, I think that's way better. Hopefully you agree. So now all we have to do is view, slide master, home. I want to see where exactly we are. All right. And then we're just going to do it to all of it. And when I say all of it, I mean all of it. All the 100 pages are going to change once I am done. And that is the whole reason that I put it in slide master because I have burned myself and have to go back and just uh you can leave these on the side if you want I like to leave it in case I decide hey I want to make another one of these it's a reminder but this looks good now there's one more thing we have to do well yeah we have to have a title but we need to take this out all right Look at that. All right. We have to have a title. We have to have something. This is called Magnolia. The um, images, the clip art. 
This is the first page, not the cover, so we don't have to put in here composition notebook or whatnot. And guess what? I believe we are done. We're going to close the slide master. All right. The last thing we have to do before we decide on the cover is to save it. So first, so the first thing is I'm going to say we should be saving this as we go. And then we are going to save it as a PNG. Okay, I have it there, but we're going to save it again. And this will take a few moments. All right. We do need to open it to see what it looks like. We're going to shrink it a little so we can see it. Wow. Look at that. Not only that, but look at the page numbers. Look at the lines. I think that's really awesome. Some of you might be thinking, no, 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 that's way too light. Some people like it light. And there we go. There's all of the pages. Let's just randomly pick one. Page 96. I think this looks great. So what does that mean, Catherine? That means we are ready to create a cover. And since we already have this as a PDF, once we have the cover done, oh my goodness, we can upload this to Amazon and put it up there. We will then be published authors. Yay! Please go and try this. Please, please, please. For a dollar. A dollar. Go purchase the font. I mean, you're going to use this a lot. I'm going to use this font a lot. Go get the pictures. You're going to use the pictures a lot. So basically, all this cost me was two bucks and having PowerPoint. Wow. Until next time. Bye.